gentlemen, the President of the United States. this eve of Veterans Day in 1981, we meet to inaugurate a program that's aimed at helping a group of veterans who have never received the thanks they deserve for their extraordinary courage and dedication. The long dragged out tragedy of Vietnam divided our nation, and damaged America's self-image. And part of that tragedy, a major part, was the sacrifice by men who fought as bravely as any American fighting men have ever fought. Millions of young Americans, when they were called upon, did their duty and demonstrated courage and dedication in the finest tradition of the American military in a war they were not allowed to win. I want to express appreciation on behalf of all Americans to these veterans who are here today, not only for their service during the war, but for their continued voluntary service to their comrades in arms and to the nation. Contrary to an unjust stereotype, the vast majority of Vietnam veterans readjusted quickly after returning from Southeast Asia. And many of these fine young people here have succeeded and excelled in their post-war endeavors. Those here with us today are outstanding examples of this fact. At the same time, however, there are those who found it difficult to come to grips with problems that can be traced to their wartime experiences. The Vietnam Veterans Leadership Program is designed to draw volunteers from the pool of successful Vietnam veterans in order to provide guidance for those with lingering problems. This volunteer self-help program is within the spirit of camaraderie that has characterized American veterans of every war and it's even more important for those who fought in Vietnam. Those of you who will be doing your part to make this program a success deserve a special thanks. I hope that every American will follow your example and reach out individually to extend a helping hand where needed to all our fine Vietnam veterans. Recognition and appreciation for all they went through is long overdue. We should always remember that in a hostile world, a nation's future is only as certain as the devotion of its defenders, and the nation must be as loyal to them as they are to the nation. This program is one way of expressing our commitment not only to Vietnam veterans, but to all those who now serve their country in the military. So thanks to all of you for participating in this fine effort I think you're going to find your fellow citizens will want to help. Now, Tom Pawkin. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. <clears throat> Thank you so very much for those kind words. There hasn't been much in the media in the past few years that's portrayed Vietnam veterans in a favorable light. One stunning exception is the novel Fields of Fire by Jim Webb, who's with us today and who's a Marine, was a Marine platoon leader in Vietnam. In his novel, Jim writes of young men from diverse backgrounds bound together by their military service in Vietnam, men who take pride in that service. That sense of pride is reflected in the men present here. Time does not permit remarks from all who are here, but I would like to recognize for just a brief comment three leaders of this project. Sam Bartholomew was an armored cavalry troop commander in Vietnam decorated for valor. He serves as our Tennessee chairman. Sam. Thank you, Tom, and thank you, Mr. President. From the volunteer state, the programs of volunteerism come naturally. And I think that one th statement that I would make that, that I believe this program demonstrates, and that is that we often forget that the cohesiveness, the glue that holds much of America together is military service. Throughout our history, American leaders have all served. And the recognition of veterans and those people who have fought in all our wars is one common denominator that runs throughout our nation. And we thank you, Mr. President, for recognizing not only the Vietnam veteran, but veterans of all wars. Thank you. 
Chuck O'Brien was an Army infantry platoon leader in Vietnam decorated for valor. He was the first to reach the summit of Mount Rainier on July 4th of this year. He's a new father of twins and chairman of the Philadelphia Vietnam Veterans Leadership Program. Thank you very much, Tom. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we in Philadelphia uh, are honored and privileged to be here. Uh, the President's remarks have renewed our dedication in the Philadelphia area to support and assist in this partnership, this partnership amongst the federal government and its tremendous resources and the veterans organizations and its on their respective resources and most importantly in this situation the private sector and those of us who are Vietnam veterans who have managed to attain a modest degree of success in the private sector. This partnership will succeed. We are determined that it will. Thank you. A Marine rifleman wounded in battle at Quezon, Bill Jane is our Deputy Director. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Mr. President, for this opportunity. I'd just like to say that in the last very difficult 13 years, I've never stopped being proud of the men I served with. I think in the future, we'll continue to be very proud of all those who served their country in that war. Thank you. Mr. President, we'd like to introduce uh, to you individually some of the men who will be involved in this project. I just have to say, I just have to say one thing. I've just realized that I've really lost it. You know, in the business I used to be in for scenes, they would put chalk marks on the floor so you could hit the right spot for the camera. And I've stood back here and just realized they had a tag with my name on it up here that I was supposed to be standing on all this time. Uh, no one yelled cut. 